What's up guys, Switchback Kid 600 back again with another sled review. This is the 05 Ski Do Summit 800 HO. I got this sled about four years ago. <clears throat> but today we're gonna talk about some of the aftermarket parts I thrown on the sled and some of the stock parts that got replaced by the aftermarket parts. All right, so before I start naming off any sort of parts on this sled, I'm just gonna do a complete walk around so you guys can see uh, the whole sled and see how she looks. For the most part, I didn't change anything with the wrap or anything like that. This is like the stock colors of the sled. Uh, I actually like the, the color of this uh, particular model. This is the 05 Summit. But uh, I guess we'll start with the skis. These are Powder Pro skis. I got these, I think two years ago, but uh, I've had these on my previous sleds. The, the 06 RMK had them and I, I rode it on that and I liked them for the very little time I did have that sled. And a couple other buddies that do ride those skis also enjoy them. I like them for riding off trail and uh, they also work well hopping on the trail. If you ever decide to ride some trails, they won't uh, disappoint you. Other than that, we'll hop to the shocks. These are Fox shocks. I got these last year before I went up to the UP uh, to White Pine. But uh, those are aftermarket. Those are coilover Fox shocks. These are what come on the sled. They're just stock uh, ski do, just OEM shocks that they uh, put on the sled when you buy it. They're coilovers. They're not bad. You can adjust them to certain stiffness or just like any other shock. You can tighten them up or loosen them up to your liking. Uh, moving on, we'll go to these hand guards. These hand guards are nice. They're power mat hand guards that keep your hands warm. So uh, if you're driving, if you're, you're riding in the wind down the trails, uh, you don't have to worry about your hands getting too cold from the wind. Definitely check these out. <clears throat> these are the more uh, wider ones. There's variations of sizes for those. So just uh, go on powermad.com and check that out for yourself. Next, we'll go to the Camel Class 2-inch pedal track. This, these sleds actually come with a 2-inch paddle track stock, the 05 Summits. But when I bought this sled, it had a, I think it had like an inch and a quarter. But I do a lot of off trailing and and trail. I do a, I do fifty fifty. So I decided to go with a two inch lug. Camoplast two inch paddle track. Very good choice. I got it for one hundred fifty bucks on eBay, which was a very good deal for what it is. These tracks are expensive, and there's no lugs missing at all on this baby. So. We're gonna keep on ripping that. <clears throat> Next, we'll move on to my uh, my brake light, my tail light. <clears throat> so, originally, I had this little situation going on. So, I had this, and it was wired all the way like up under there, down to like under my seat, connected, and this looked cool as LED brake light, but. Unfortunately, it was a bad design on my part. The wires, you can see that broken wire right there. I need to just take it all out, but uh, yeah, it snapped in the back. But it was a poor design by me, so hey, that's okay. It worked for a year, but I switched it out with this old Articat tail light. Up in the UP, I had a guy help me out, and we actually drilled a hole in the back of the seat and connected it to the OEM plug 
and yeah that works great i don't care about no led stuff it don't bother me <clears throat> uh next this ain't too crazy but these are headlight covers these are yellow headlight covers they kind of make your sled look a little cool <clears throat> one of mine fell off so mine's like winking at you i decided to leave this on so she looks she looks all right i like it i dig it I try to keep the tunnel polished as much as I can. It's kind of shiny, not too much. But this is a 144 inch extended track. Like I said previously, if I didn't say that previously, this is a custom bumper that uh, I got from Rogue Customs. I think that's his name. If not, I'll put it up on the screen, the actual name. But these are sick bumpers he customize them and cut them all out machine them out for you cut cut up cut whatever design and do you want and uh paint it whatever color you want so it's sick and it works well i've towed a couple people home with that bumper it a lot of support i've rolled the sled a couple times with that with this this is the stock one that would come on the sled originally. So that'd be there, and then like this is the OEM tail light. So you got this, and it's kind of like a rack, right? So you put that rack there, sort of deal. And that's kind of how your OEM. 05 ski do some 800 would look like with the with the back luggage rack type deal <clears throat> but yeah moving on we'll open the sled up and we'll look at the a a a a e n silencer uh you guys know that there's an OEM like big suitcase silencer originally that would be here. It's a big fat thing. I don't have it on me. It's at the shop right now. But uh, this cut a lot of pounds because that suitcase uh, stock OEM silencer is huge. And uh, this sounds a lot better if you watch any of my... Uh, I got a previous video up on uh up on youtube if you guys want to go check that out i'll leave a link in the description or a link right up at the top of the screen you guys could go click on that <clears throat> it's a little sound clip moving on to the head fatty head pipe this is a bmp bikeman performance head pipe so i got that combined with my aen silencer together it's pretty Pretty sick sounding. I enjoy it. And there is the stock Y pipe. I I want to get a BMP Y pipe along to go with it. But uh, overall, this 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 fatty head BMP head pipe is it's pretty loud. Like you get up you get up in a higher speeds and get on the throttle. It's it, it screams, dude. So. It's sick. Yeah, I got that for uh, I think uh, it was like $120. It was it was cheap, which was another good deal. Uh get on Facebook guys and check out uh get on your get on your Rev Nation page, man, and uh check out the check out some parts and deals and there's a few people that uh will give you good deals on that Rev Nation Facebook page, so go check out that. They'll give you updates and reviews and pictures of everybody's ski do and their <clears throat> their setup so there's that and I'm gonna start her up for you guys I'm just gonna drag it outside in a second <clears throat> uh, on this other side Everything stock, stock secondary, primary, and everything stock. I run a high performance ski do belt, 
because I'm running a uh, Dynamo Joe clutch kit in this sled. So it's geared out. I got the gearing to 21.45. So this thing, it, ain't, it, it pulls super hard. It's keeping up. It's keeping up with everybody on the trail and and it pulls wheelies in, uh, off the trail so that's why i picked up the the 21 gear so originally the gearing is 1945 but uh that's geared for like the mountains so this is a ski do summit and that's how they were producing them back in the day was just gearing them out to 19 and the other gear was 45 which is pretty low so if i left that in here with my clutch kit clutch kit i would probably be pulling hella wheelies all day but i didn't want my top speed to be fucking so cut down because of the 19 gear so i threw a 21 in there and it just seems like the perfect uh variation this is 2145 if you guys are wondering that's what i would go with about changing your gearing or whatever yeah check out 21 and then just leave your 45 stock gear in there and buy a i think it's a top gear it's a 21. but yeah <clears throat> here's uh, the chassis underneath rails look nice you get the your high facts, all that. I got stock suspension, everything's stock. But uh, yeah, let me drag this thing outside so I can start it up for you guys so I stop rambling on. Quick couple things before I do drag it outside. I just wanted to show you guys that I, this is a windshield that would go on the sled too. So I don't have that on there right now because I need some uh, pin clips for to put it back on. But uh, these are the stock OEM skis. These are like, irreversible skis so you could switch them around you could put this ski over here and ride it with the fat part inside you can see i don't know if you guys can see it says there's a little arrow there's a little arrow it says inside or you could switch them around like i just did and have them the opposite way so that's how ski do did it so you could have a wide uh, ski stance or a narrow ski stance uh, right off the rip with the stock OEM skis. So those are all right. They're a pain in the ass to take off. If you haven't messed with your stock OEM skis, you might have to cut the mother truckers off, but that's what I did because I wasn't messing around. <clears throat> Anyways, this is the fatty head pipe that would originally go on the, the sled, the 800-05-800 fatty head pipe OEM. I just replaced that with the BMP like I talked about earlier. And then this is a quick little ski do bag. This is a tunnel bag. This bag is hooked up with uh, link clips, which I do not even have them installed into my tunnel. The link clips would be ideal if you have the if you buy this bag, look on Amazon, check it out, buy it, and uh, they'll have these link uh, things you can drill into your tunnel and these will actually strap in to those and you won't lose your bag but i just just zip tied them to this because i didn't have time to hook it up last year but that's that and uh let's go start it up all right guys so i'm about to start this thing up but uh first i wanted to show you guys this little switch right here if you guys didn't know what this switch was it's a little hose leading from your your cylinder to uh, your carbs these are for heated carbs it, this you only need to use these if it's super cold out but uh i don't really know too much like into that but i just do know you only need to turn this on if it's super cold so little information for you guys all right guys so this is the best camera angle i can give you guys but this is completely cold start so I'm gonna put the choke all the way up, even though it's just sitting in the garage.
hot, so she's kind of warm in general, but I haven't saw her in about a three weeks to a month. I'm just gonna let it idle before I start spinning the track at all. That's what you want to do with these two strokes. You guys are just starting to get a two stroke sled. Start them up, let them idle for at least five minutes. And then before you start hopping on them and ripping on them, you want to get them pistons all nice and warmed up so you don't blow your sled up. So I'm gonna just fast forward through all this bolt, all this idling, and then I'll start ripping on it for you guys. So you guys can hear the AEN silencer with the BMP head pipe. That's a wrap. That's a 05 Ski Doo Summit 800 HO. Definitely go check this sled out, guys. If you're interested in buying this sled, go check it out from your local guy, whoever's selling it, and uh, go pick one up because I've had it for four years and it's been a blast. <laughs>